everybody, it's Hexa, and today we're going to be unboxing a few things that I bought from Kat Von D's 10 year anniversary collection. I was not able to get the whole collection just because I couldn't afford to, but I got a couple things, so if you want to see that, just keep watching. Before, before I start getting into the unboxing, I'm just going to preface this with a little bit of a rant because it's my channel and I can rant on it if I want to. I'm coming down with something, I don't know what it is, I think I'm getting tonsillitis or a really bad cold or something because my throat just feels like death. I, just, I mean, I, 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 I feel like I'm dying, I smell like something died, you guys are just, you should consider yourselves lucky that you're not getting the full 4D or 5D or however many Ds experience because is not pleasant like my hair i've combed it but like it's all oily and greasy and disgusting everything is gross i'm drinking an extremely boozy eggnog that i made because one friend told me that whiskey helps and i drank a couple shots of this like insane ginger infusion even though i hate ginger because my actor friend told me that it helps so you know, I'm taking all the advice from all the people. I'm waiting for my mom to come home from work with medication. It's just, it's all, it's all crazy today. But I'm really excited about this package. It arrived yesterday. The stuff from, from uh, Kat Von D arrived yesterday. But it was already dark outside and I couldn't film with it. So I had to get my mom to confiscate it for me. <laughs> so I would open it today. Anyways, I don't have time to be sick right now. I, I'm, I, I don't have time for tonsillitis. This is not a good time. So I'm just going to be kicking the ass out of whatever this is with all the herbal remedies, all the medication, everything I could possibly find. If you guys have like some witchy woo to share with me, just leave it down in the comments. Um, I'd be very grateful. Um, also, I'm wearing my grandma's pajamas that she left here when she left China. Very cute. Muchly sexy. Love, love, love the polar bear pajamas. Very cute. Okay, so I'm actually opening this on Kat Von D's wedding day. The day of like her official wedding with all of her um, friends and family. So um, she and her husband got already got married a couple of months ago, I think, like legally. But today they're doing their like friends and family wedding with everybody. Um, this probably won't be posted on her wedding day, but I'm unboxing it on her wedding day, so congratulations to Kat Von D and her new husband, whose name I cannot pronounce, because I don't know that name. Let me know how you pronounce his name. Um, and also to their new baby that is on the way. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We're gonna have a Kat Von baby. It's, uh, so cute. I'm, I'm so excited. Okay. Anyways, let's do this. I'm, I should try not to scream because my throat is <laughs> not having it. <laughs> okay, let's cut this open. Let's go. <laughs> oh, also, I almost put lip gloss on my eyebrows when I was doing my, my base today because um, I left one of my ColourPop lip glosses in my eyebrow product container for some reason, and the ColourPop lip glosses have a metallic lid, which is the same as the metallic packaging of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. <laughs> so so I... I took it out of the tub, opened it, pulled out the wand, and was like, oh, this is a weird consistency, and then I saw that it was lip gloss, and so I put it back. Anyways, today is just, today is just a fiasco. Okay. I'm not gonna be bothered with all the logistics of this stuff. I'm not gonna tell you, like, the prices in American dollars or anything like that. I'm just gonna be showing you guys the stuff. I, I don't I haven't even decided yet if I'm actually gonna use the palette today. I did my base just in case I did decide to use the palette today, but um, we'll have to see. Ah! I'm very bad at opening things, did you know? My mom makes fun of me. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Cool. Package in a package. Ooh, ooh. And a ton of bubble wrap. Woo! And there we go. Okay. Here's everything I got. Right here. So excited. Okay, so I ordered these from uh, Sephora Hong Kong. And let's see, the price things are not in here, so I can't tell you even how much I paid in Hong Kong dollars, but I'm sure you can find the prices online if you want to know. 
so it's no biggie. So in total, I ordered two things from the collection. So I think what she came out with was, she came out with an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter, a set of brushes, um, a limited edition tattoo liner, like, like the Trooper tattoo liner but with gold packaging, and also one of her lipsticks, I don't remember which shade, like she turned an everlasting liquid lipstick shade into a uh, studded kiss lipstick and put it in a limited edition golden packaging. I don't remember which shade it is. So what I got was just the, um, I think I mentioned everything, I'm not sure. Um, what I got was the palette, obviously. Very, very beautiful packaging, very golden gold, it's very, very pretty. And the highlighter. I figured these were like the most worth getting. I did also want the brushes, but I just, they, they were pretty expensive and I just couldn't afford to get the brushes as well. So I got the, the you know, fun, colorful, most unique stuff. I feel like these, if you're gonna get something, these two are like the most worth getting, the most unique out of the collection. And then also, um, Sephora Hong Kong was having some kind of a promotion with Kat Von D, so I got a complimentary, um, I think this is Outlaw, a mini everlasting liquid lipstick in Outlaw and a mini tattoo liner in Trooper. And then for for my samples with like my points and stuff, I got a tiny little sample of her translucent setting powder and a Sephora whipped cream body moisturizer with watermelon extract. I really like minis. I'm obsessed with minis. I love teeny tiny cute things. And um, so yeah, gotta love the minis. I can't use my brain right now and it's really hot in my room but I turned off the air conditioner because it makes noise but I'm gonna turn it back on because I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm overheating. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the palette. This is the front of the packaging. This is the back of the packaging. So it shows you like all the colors that are in the palette. It's basically a full rainbow. How many shades are there? Three, six, eight times two, 16. 16 shades. Um, they're all new shades, and they are all named after, you know, people who inspire her and people she loves and her, her friends and, and, and her muses and stuff like that. So I think that is really, really cool. I don't know all of these people. I know a few of them. But, um, yeah, let's just dive into this and open up the palette. Very, very beautiful. I'll, also, all of Kat Von D's products are vegan and cruelty-free, of course. The inside of the box has a few little stars, like her um, starry face tattoo that she has. And it comes inside a black box to protect it. And this is the palette, oh my goodness. Oh, I don't want to get all my fingerprints all over it. It's so pretty. So design and everything hand drawn by her, of course. And then it has like this pretty golden plastic um, outside. Oh, you can see my camera. Ha ha! <laughs> oh, and it has her signature on the drawing here. I didn't notice that. Cool. It has her little signature over here. Let's open this puppy up! What is this even made of? It's all, I think, it's like, it's all plastic, pretty much. Which I think is fine. Um, try not to drop it or break anything. Woo! Yay, and you can see all the mess that is on my desk in the mirror. <laughs> okay, so this is the palette. Oh my god, these colors are so gorgeous. I really, really love this. I think it's very beautiful. Um, I don't. E I almost don't want to touch it because it's like still so pristine and clean and pretty. And I'm. I could be covering the mirror, but then the mirror is so beautiful. It's a very good mirror, honestly. Wow. The mirror is amazing, the colors are amazing. Um, let's see, so we have 16 shades in total and five of them are like metallic or glittery ones. It looks like this blue might be a little bit satin as well, but the rest of them are mattes, which I think is good. That's a good matte to metallic ratio. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to do swatches in this video. I'm just going to kind of like dive in with the different shades and create an eye look and hopefully it'll look good. 
Okay, the first shade I'm going to go in with is called Sylvia, and it is the kind of fleshy shade next to the gold. I'm just going to use that as my first transition shade. My mirror has a little bit of a light on it. I wonder if that would be helpful. Eh, doesn't hurt. Okay, next I'm gonna test out the shade Nancy, which looks kind of pinky mauve -y. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. It's a nice neutral-ish um, blush shade. On my lid, I'm gonna press the golden shade called Egypt. I'm just gonna use my finger for that. Texts, texts, texts. This is going on so smooth and beautiful. Wow. It's like very glittery, very vibrant. I like. Just so that I do actually show you guys one of the more colorful colors, one of the more unique bright colors, I'm gonna go in with Carolyn on my lower lash line. So this is like a dark teal kind of it's a it's a dark blue green kind of shade and I'm gonna just use that on my lower lash line it's hard to do your lower lash line without like bending down a lot and disappearing from the camera it's kind of doing like a little bit of an underwing a little bit of a flick with that pondering if I should do the other blue on the other side but I, I think I'm not gonna do that and for the inner corner, I really want to try one of these like shifty looking shades. Alexandra and Kelly look like they might be kind of like shifts. So I'm going to try Kelly, I think. I hope this isn't too dark. It, it, you really don't know until you put this on. So let's see. Mm, okay, so that's kind of dark. <laughs> Maybe not the best choice. But... I mean, it's a really cool color. And when it hits the light, it doesn't look so dark, you know? It's like one of those weird ones. It has like a, a base color underneath and then like a shift color that, that really pops when it hits the light. Just for fun, I'm going to do Alexandra on the other side to see if this looks better. Yeah, that's probably better. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm gonna try to just put Kelly over top of the other one. <laughs> like a band-aid. Alright, so that is our eye look done. And I'm gonna go get some mascara and put that on and then come back. Alright, so first impressions of this palette. I really, really like it. I think the mattes blend really really nicely the formula is great and then the metallics and the glitters are very very bright very smooth really beautiful colors the only thing i would say is kind of missing from this palette for me is like a metallic or glittery um white or like a champagne or something that can be used for like an inner corner and brow bone highlight um there is like a matte cream just kind of like off-white color that can be used as a matte highlight but personally I prefer a metallic or glittery highlight for my inner corner and brow bone and there isn't really anything like that that isn't colorful but other than that this is a really really great palette I think you can do very creative colorful looks with this but you can also do something way more subtle I mean like if I hadn't added the dark teal on my lower lash line here then I could totally rock this look to like school or work or wherever they have you know it the palette has all the colors that you need to create something neutral for day-to-day -day life as well as anything that you need for something really really colorful and bold so yeah I really dig the palette I think the quality is great and I can genuinely see myself using this this could actually be a really great travel palette if you're someone who likes a bit of versatility because it definitely is very versatile you can do a lot with this um, you know I, I really like it I think the quality is great the color selection is great you have 
almost everything you need except that um, glittery highlight shade but if that's not something that you feel like you need in a palette then it's pretty much perfect only problem i'm having with the packaging which the packaging is gorgeous it's very very beautiful only problem i'm having with the packaging is <laughs> you're gonna get fingerprints all over this my fingerprints are already just all over the back of this and also i don't understand not putting the names of the colors inside the palette that's just kind of annoying to me and I, I, I a lot of brands do this and I don't understand it it's just kind of irritating um, so I was just reading the color names off the back of the packaging like the, the the box okay moving on to the highlighter I'm very excited about this so this is the metal crush 10 year anniversary extreme highlighter um, electrifying glitter layer or wear alone highlight everything the color is called gold school school with a k because it's cool my dog is barking at the person who's in our backyard fixing something wonderful great okay <laughs> same beautiful golden packaging and let's open this up i haven't tried any of kat von d's highlighters up until now so um i don't know i'm excited about this Yay, okay, gold school. What? This has some red, like, crumbs on it. It's like there was, a, like, a lip liner in, in here or something. Do you see that? There's, like, some little red flecks on it, but wow. Whoop. Just wipe those off. <laughs> this is very pretty. I love this. I feel like, you know, when you take this out of your purse, it just immediately would look luxurious and cool and amazing and everyone w in the ladies' room or the men's room would just be like, oh my god, what is that? You know? <laughs> Again, we have a really nice mirror in here and this is the highlighter. So it looks to be a white or pearl shade with a gold shift. I'm very excited to try this. This is one of those things where like the gold might look perfect or it might, you know, show up differently on different skin tones. But you know, I think Kat Von D usually tries to make something that appeals to everyone and can work on any skin tone, so I'm excited. I think it'll it'll work for me. Like for example, Champagne Pop from Becca. Everyone was raving about that and it looks beautiful on everyone I've seen it on but then I tried it and it's just too dark and like when it you know when it hits the light it looks beautiful but then when I'm looking straight ahead you can just see like that dark streak on my cheek so let's see how this one works out I hope that it looks gorgeous this is probably what I'm most excited about in the collection even more so than the palette because I, I don't know I love a good highlighter you know I, if you can get a really good highlighter that's just your staple you're good to go for like ever. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <laughs> huh. I feel like this is taking a little bit of building, almost like it might go on better if I sprayed my brush a little bit. Should I try that? I think it, because it's so like glittery, it has a lot of glitter particles in it, and so I feel like um, some of the glitter particles are kind of just like flaking off when I brush it on. So I'm going to get my setting spray and see if I can make this work better if I wet the brush a little bit first. Alright, second attempt with the setting spray on the brush. Let's go for this. Wow, okay, yes. Now that is gorge. You could also like spray your face instead and then like wait until the setting spray is half dried and then do it, then apply the highlighter. That's another trick that I've seen a lot of people use, but yeah, there's definitely like a difference between applying it wet or dry. Let's try spraying, spraying my face as well. <laughs> you want it to like be pretty evenly dried down because otherwise you're going to get like spots of setting spray that the highlighter is clinging to. Oh my goodness. Okay. Approved. 
I really like this highlighter. I think it looks amazing once it's on. It is a little bit finicky to work with because it, it has like, it has a similar problem to the some of the Anastasia highlighters, which is that they're so glittery that, you know, when you apply it, the glitter kind of like flies off your face and just goes everywhere. But if you know how to work with it and you like take your time to, to work with it, then you can get a really, really cool effect. I dig it. I feel like this would also make a really good um, body highlighter. That could be cool. Alright, I'm gonna do my lips with my little um, sample lipstick that I got. And then I will be back for final thoughts. Of course I have to open this. Why would I not have to open this? Why would there be no more things in this video that I have to open and fail at and take forever with because I'm an embarrassment to humankind? Okay, got it. Okay, this color is killing it. I have lipstick all over my hands. What do I do about that? All right, so in conclusion, I really like both of these products that I got from the collection. Personally, my favorite is the palette, actually. I was more excited about the highlighter than I was about the palette, but in the end, I think I will use the palette more. The highlighter is really beautiful. It's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful shade. I think it'll look great on a lot of people, but it's a little bit finicky, and because of all that glitter in it that kind of like falls everywhere, it doesn't have that same buttery smoothness that I prefer in a highlighter. I, you know, when, when I use a highlighter, I like for it to apply where I'm putting it with the brush and not have like a ton of glitter fallout going all over the place. It's a bit of an impossible dream, but there are a, a few highlighters that have done that for me, you know? Um, so yeah, I do like the highlighter, but it's a little bit too finicky for my taste. It's a little bit, in Chinese we call it ma fan, which kind of just, just means like finicky or inconvenient. Um, the palette, on the other hand, is really, really great. I love all the colors. I think it's really is really beautiful, the formula is really smooth, they go on very nicely, and again, I, like I said, it's very versatile, you can literally do anything with this, you could wear this to work, you could wear this to a party, it, you can do any type of look with this palette, you can do neutral and very colorful, and it'll all look great. The only thing that's missing, as I said, is a glittery or metallic highlight shade in the palette, but that's okay. I mean, you can work around that and it's not a huge problem. I like that it has this shade over here. I didn't use it. What's that shade called? Um, Sarah. The shade Sarah is like a... is almost gray, but not quite. If, if you can see, it has like a little bit of a lilac to it. It's like a lilac gray. Which I really like because matte gray shades are very, very hard to come by, so I think that's a really unique shade that she has in here. A lot of the, these shades are very unique and very beautiful. There's a lot of great transition shades, there's a lot of great um, metallics or pops of color. It's, it's just overall really good in general. All the packaging is beautiful, all the concepts are beautiful, I think a lot of work went into this collection and I, I think it's a really great collection. It's It's very pretty. And yeah, cohesive and nice and, and you know, it seems like she put a lot of thought into it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all liked it and yeah, I'm really glad that I got to buy these products and share them with you. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat for more. And you can donate to my Patreon down below to support me and my channel. Please let me know if you want me to do swatches of every shade in this palette, and I will do that for you guys. I, I might do it anyways, I don't know. But let me know in the comments if you do want a swatch video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!